Here we are outside of Westminster before a night of celebration. It is the Charlton Athletic Community Trust Awards and we're here to celebrate all of the people that help make this community trust the very best in the EFL. All of our staff, our partners and participants have been invited along to celebrate the making of the Charlton Athletic Community Trust. The trust would never have worked without the dedication of, of Jason and the team uh, and they set themselves very high standards, a very high bar to pass every year, somehow they managed to do it. But what I love is their enthusiasm, it's still as great as ever because they can see the reward of the results of the people that they help and that's so, that's so fulfilling. The work that you all do for your community is outstanding. Through the power of football, you are absolutely changing lives. And it's really important because we have to acknowledge the amazing work that goes on behind the scenes, the volunteers that are involved in all of this work, and the fact that, you know, through your efforts, you're reaching over 26,000 people in your community. And as I say, you're really, really changing lives, making a massive impact to those people. First and foremost, it's probably one of the most humbling nights of my, of my life. I've listened to some of those stories there, you know, the emotion and tearing and then I've met some of the recipients and the award winners and stuff like that and yeah, I'm a bit overcome if I'm honest. You know, I'm very privileged to be here and, 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 and to be invited but secondly the work and we, we're well aware of what we have to follow as a football club, it, the first team within a football club because there's a lot of factions of our football club overperforming and CACT is one of those. It's so evident from coming here and being in the room for 20 minutes that that this is a life-changing football club and we have a very a, a duty to continue that and I feel very humbled to be the manager of this club right now. It makes me remember that everyone is human and that we are here to connect with each other and help each other out, to be a community and support each other. I'm a bit lost for words. Um, I knew I'd been nominated, um, didn't really know what for, um, but was told I needed to keep date free and I needed to turn up. So yeah, it was, uh, it was a little bit of a shock when I find out not only have I been nominated, but then my name was called out as the winner of, of, of the uh, award. So yeah, it was uh, very emotional. It's a very, very special place and it's a very, very special organisation. But what happens is, is people, people get involved in different programs and they actually grow actually grow through those programs and actually are inspired by the programs and go out and make a difference and help other people as they go along and inspire others as well. You know I think the University of Greenwich and, uh, and Charlton Community Trust, you know, we're anchor institutions and so you know we are focused on developing community support in the community so I think it's really important what it shows is that there's so much positive energy that everybody's here they want to work together um, and uh, I think partnerships are the way to do that and you know impacting obviously on the individual lives of uh, you know, the people that we've seen tonight. All of the Charlton Athletic Community Trust Awards have been handed out, but as you can see behind me, nobody wants to go home. The House of Lords has been the perfect backdrop for an evening celebrating our award-winning community trust. The staff, the volunteers, the participants who make it so special and quite simply life-changing. We've been inspired this evening and that is going to continue for many, many more years to come. Good night.